Come to Remora TC to trade like a shark and not get eaten by one. Let's school together to protect and grow our money. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Let's take a look at Microsoft. Here's the weekly chart. You can see here in this zone, there's a flag pattern with the big red candle coming down and then the flag being created. I think the next move will be further downward. Let's take a look at my prediction from 22 February. The thesis on that date, overhead resistance here and support underneath here. So this beige box here is the gap fill. My thought at the time was there would be resistance up here. And also note the bearish divergence down here. Switching to today, which is 26 February, you could see that on 22 February, this little green candle here, subsequent days, there was the rejection up here as I predicted and further price movement lower where it is right now, which is just above this 406.82 dash line. I think price will probably take a little bounce, attempt to go into the gap fill again and get rejected. There will be support down here on this trend line. In the end, there will be further prices lower for Microsoft. That's my thesis. Coming over to gold miners, Van Eck. GDX uh, ETF. You can see this downward pattern here. Okay. And then this is a really, really interesting area zone right here. So let's take a look. On 22 February, my thesis was price was coming down to a beautiful entry zone anywhere down here on the purple uh, or down here at around 25. And, uh, you know, if, if you wanted to take the entry early, you could have here, but I wanted confirmation. So uh, one of my subscribers asked and said that, hey, you know, you hit your target. Well, we hit our target, but let's see where we'll go next. I still feel there's overhead resistance here and support down here. So let's see what happened on the 26th, which is today. Okay, so you can see here that the past couple of days, there's a battle in this zone where this gap fill took place down here. You can see that today's candle landed right on this trend line here. This trend line goes from here all the way down. Okay, so it's sitting right there. Let me zoom in a little bit. It's sitting right there. My thought for you is anywhere along the greens would be a nice long. Just from a technical analysis standpoint, the percentage difference between these isn't all that great. So that's definitely a consideration for those who want to go long. Again, the bullishness remains down here. Switching to Exxon Mobil, here's the weekly chart. You can see kind of a this this sort of rising wedge right here. Okay, some might say that that a rising wedge would be a bearish pattern. So let's take a look. Switching to my prediction on 22 February was overhead resistance here, with the 200 day coming down and support down here. So so just remember this rising wedge. Switching to today. The rising wedge is right here. You can see in the past three days that price did attempt to get into the gap fill. It did not. My thesis is unchanged from a overhead resistance and lower support perspective. Now, I did highlight down here a new bearish divergence. This is very important. All of this price action here was uh, not clear to me about the direction of price. I knew that price would be using this as support and using all of this as resistance, but there was no clarity on direction. This down here with the RSI showing bearishness gives me a little bit more clarity. So my prediction for price over the next week or two is it will get rejected up here. It will retest the support and ultimately fail. So those who are wanting to go long, perhaps uh, don't take a long yet. And for those who might want to take a short entry, this might be a nice short up here at the 200 day with resistance because perhaps prices are going to go further, uh, even further south. Okay, this is ExxonMobil. Switching to Bitcoin weekly chart, here's the uh, rising wedge pattern here. Let's switch to my prediction on 22 February. You could see that there was a lot of sideways movement here. My prediction was uh, some support here. Ultimately, a breakdown of price. That's on 22 February. Switching to 26 February, the action for the past couple of days 
there was a slight dip down and it didn't quite reach the support line. And today price rocketed up by uh, quite a lot. So I highlighted here, continued bearish divergence in this little section here from 15 February to the 26th. So it extends this long bearishness. And the volume for today's candle, even though it was it was a big candle, you could see that comparing the other green candles down here, today's volume uh, isn't as big as some of these candles over here. It almost looks like volume is uh, decreasing on the whole. So here are the volume candles down here. You guys can see it, right, all down here. And you can kind of see a downward movement lowering of the volume. So uh, what does that mean? Uh, it's unclear to me, though if I had to pick a direction, I'll go ahead and annotate it here because that's what I do. Pick a direction. I think price will come up, get rejected up here, and then ultimately further down. All right. Good luck with your trades. As always, remember that my content is for educational purposes only. It's not investment advice. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And when you subscribe, please do hit the bell icon.